Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a bit since my last video, but we are coming at you now with some twins videos. I did get a chance to pull all of my twins. I've got fire, water, and wind, and also a special treat. What the? Martina. I've absolutely fallen in love with Martina. She's extremely versatile. Um, so I'm gonna be using her a ton in my arena offenses and probably some other places as well. But I'm gonna be talking about these monsters, the twins, not as individual monsters, but rather as pairs. You really need to think about each and every one of these monsters and see what they bring to the table and how a pairing of the two is going to be able to defeat the arena offense uh, or the siege uh, defense that you're looking at. So let's start out with this first combo, and I'm gonna make some videos based off of combos. This first combo is going to be Melissa as the Chakram Dancer and Sabrina as the Boomerang. So let's talk about Melissa first. Uh, Melissa's really awesome. She's an HP damage scaling monster. She's a warrior type, meaning that she's gonna typically go up against assassins, but I do have her on soul link the majority of the time, so her AI doesn't matter too much. So let's talk about this first skill here. Her first skill is based off max HP, so we're gonna build her very tanky. I actually just threw on my Garu runes, who's also HP scaling, uh, threw the Garu runes onto Melissa and she was performing incredibly. Um, while I was testing these monsters, the most I had was A11. I believe my Melissa was A11. Everybody else was A9, because I only pulled one of them. So um, their awaken levels are not very high. So if I had their awaken levels even higher, they probably would have performed even better. So Melissa here has damage based off max HP, but really the secret sauce to her being so valuable is this block harmful effect removal debuff. Let me switch over and show you what that looks like. Block harmful effect removal is this one right here. You'll notice it on a couple monsters that have it, not very many. Um, uh, as you can see here, these are some of the monsters that have it. Some very powerful meta monsters here as well. Um, okay, block harmful effect removal. When removing a harmful effect on a target with this effect, this effect will disappear first and other harmful effects can be removed afterwards. So something very useful uh, against a Juno. So a Juno is extremely, Juno is extremely meta monster. So Juno likes to cleanse the entirety of the debuffs off of a single monster or summoner. So what that means is when Juno goes to use her skill, this debuff will get removed first and then all of the other debuffs will remain. That includes defense break, that includes brand, that includes unrecoverable, you know, all of these really nasty debuffs um, that can really help us kill uh, one of those monsters or the summoner. So extremely, extremely powerful debuff. And that's honestly why I keep her on soul link when I'm using uh, Melissa, especially in Arena or Siege. So that is probably the skill that I am spamming the most. I pretty much never spammed this skill ever uh, or really even used it. I just used this one. Um, I don't worry too much about the co-op skill because, uh, again, I'm spamming Melissa. Let's uh, switch over. Nothing else crazy here. Um, we got unrecoverable co-op activation on the ultimate. Um, she doesn't even do the this block harmful effect. So honestly, it's just this skill. Skill one, that's really all I'm spamming on her. But just that alone is phenomenally good. Okay, let's switch over to Sabrina, who's gonna be the co-op monster. So whenever I use Melissa's skill, it's going to bring Sabrina with her to use Sabrina's skill. And Sabrina's skill right here, Boomerang Strike, is the one that she's going to be using most often because she's doing it with Melissa. As you can see here, remove one harmful effect. So that's kind of nice to cleanse on herself. Uh, and it also ignores the damage reduction effect. So this is stuff like shields and invincibility, which are very popular buffs. So she's gonna be able to go right through those things with this Boomerang Strike co-op skill. She also does damage based off of attack speed. So um, you wanna build her a little bit faster, probably 150 attack speed or more. I actually put her on my Tessarion runes, which my Tessarion's pretty well built, uh, and he has relatively high attack speed, but also has good attack and crit rate and crit damage and all those other things, as well as HP. Um, 
on her by herself, uh, she also will be occasionally using this skill every 26 seconds or, or so, um, which brings in the defense down and the attack down. Now, there are a couple times when I'm, you know, attempting to focus a sp specific monster like a Juno, per se. Uh, I would use this skill first, apply that defense down, attack down, and then hopefully switch over to Melissa and we'll switch over her real quick switch over to Melissa, use this skill one here, which is going to give us that block harmful effect removal. And all of a sudden, all of those debuffs that I just landed are going to stay on that Juno, right? So just kind of a little combo there. Um, Sabrina, I like her ult, um, or her passive here is actually really nice too. Um, when a caster and a chakram dancer in the team are attacked by an enemy with a beneficial effect, which pretty much everybody always has a beneficial effect, uh, damage taken down 30%. So you and your chakram dance sisters are going to get way less damage taken. So you're honestly pretty tanky right for really heavy damage dealing monsters very like high attack monsters they're actually pretty tanky and they have a hard time the enemy has a hard time killing them because of some of these passives uh ultimate i often will switch over to sabrina to use the ultimate so um this is the combo that i'm going to run with first and i'm going to show you guys a lot of gameplay so feel free make sure to like the video subscribe to the video i'm going to be bringing you more combos over the next couple days. The next combo is going to be Shayna and Zenobia, which I've been really enjoying as well. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys, and I'll see you guys in either the next live stream or the next video. Ah, uh, it's all right. Yeah, she did. Nice. Yeah, I, I see. There's a lot of power in that skill. Yeah, for three mana costs, and you get the uh, there's the unrecoverable from the co-op skill. There's the removal. She did remove that, though. Is that considered a CC effect? Pretty good so far. Aerial heal, aerial heal. Thank you. Got invincibility, so save stuff. Hold up. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty strong combo. <laughs> that's a pretty strong combo, and those were not uh, those were not weak sauce. Um, Weak sauce monsters either. Okay, so I mean, Sabrina's just kind of going after the uh, aerial. She's doing pretty good work on this aerial. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, I think she's about to use her skill here. Yeah, did you see it? So Sabrina just used her skill that ignores the target's um, damage reduction effects, and it finished off the aerial that had the uh, invincibility buff on. <laughs> did you see that? So I think this is a situation where we can probably spam Melissa. I don't have any strip. Um, Freaking immunity, man. Okay. 
kind of chewing through the uh chewing through the kina right now okay that wasn't bad we just kind of chewed through the kina there um i'd like to see some immunity gone here okay then we'll do our ult in a second So there was a brand even with uh even without a defense break. Still a decent amount of damage. From the Sabrina. So I definitely feel like this is like a more slow and steady wins the race sort of composition. Um because the Sabrina is giving damage taken down, right? Allowing every all of the uh twins to be a little tankier. This is already quite tanky. Turn off freaking auto. Wish we could do that in the... I like to stay on Juno for a moment and let them kind of use some of their skills, see how much damage they put out, and then uh, we can switch over once we feel a little more comfortable. Okay, this is... Uh, we got a defense break on us, so it's a little bit scarier. Um, little scary. We got her, though. So let's back out for a second. Just kind of... But we do have our shield, though. Our invincibility, so that's good. Let's go for Juno. Oh, we did get the strip on us, though, so we got to back out a second. Let's do a little heal. I didn't have any beneficial... Uh, I didn't have any... God, I cannot speak. Um, There we go. Heal. Good. Let's see. The unkillable comp. Okay, now switch back to... What do you guys think? Melissa or Sabrina's ult is better? I need to go look at their ults. I remember with the Garu, guys, you can um, dodge out of the Garu. Dodge out of the Garu's thing, and it's only the last hit that does the fear. And so you won't get feared if uh, you dodge out. All right, we'll auto that one. Melissa, pretty strong. Uh, both Melissa and Sabrina are A11 at the moment, so can you imagine being A15? Prahas are kind of tricky sometimes. We're definitely taking the Juno into the Sharon for sure. Snap. Oh, man. Sharon, so good. Heal. I don't have much healing on me. Okay, I got the... There we go. We have the invincibility there now. Ooh, Sharon just... Nasty good. Okay, switch over to this real quick. Finish it off. There we go. My Juno and myself are sleeping. I would have healed myself, but switch over to Melissa and finish it off. Chrissy, wake up! There we go. If I was Martina... That's right, Serena does ignore the shield. Oh, yeah, the skill three does the damage reduction effect. Uh, or the, yeah. Sabrina skill three. Let's get a little healy heal. There we go. Uh, okay, let's get one more cleanse real quick. And then let's go here and let's go here. Okay, and one more, one more. Got her. Okay. So I saved up a little bit of mana, had some mana from the cleanses off of Juno. And then I was able to do her skill two here which is obviously our more powerful skill. Not only is it defense down, but it's also uh, 
damage reduction effects. Oof. Uh, should have a Juno cleanse here in a second. Yep, there it is. Uh, let's just go for Gemex now. Uh, this is not good. Still having issues. Cleanse. There we go. Gemex still so tough, even after the threat is dead. Oh, my God. No. Oh, my God. Like, somehow they're more of a threat after the Sharon is dead. Like, riddle me that. Okay, we got the Endure out. Can we get a... Can we get a... No, we can't. Not enough time. Do it. Cleanse. We did get the Endure out, though. Come on. Finish it off. One more skill. One more skill before they heal. They're going to heal. They're going to heal. Ah! This is it. That's the dead. Okay, big dead. Ooh. Try to get some ultimates out. Okay, yeah. Sabrina's skill two here, pretty strong. Uh, defense down, attack down, ignores targets, beneficial effects that reduce damage. Really strong skill. Four mana cost. But you gotta, like, you can't just spam it. Because then it's like you run out of mana for healing if you need to switch to healing real quick. I'm just going to switch to Sabrina. Ah! Going to go through... Ah! It's going through the shields, but... I got immunity up. Uh, oh, I used my skill. I shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Um, a little bit dangerous here. It's very close to dying. I need the Juno, though. Um, uh, I would like immunity off first. Come on. Damn it. I should just use it. I'm dead. God, Rex. <laughs> so much immunity. I just was going to waste that ult. That ult was going to get wasted. Rex is my boy, though. It's our morning squad. Got that attack down. Got the that. Okay. Nice. Oh, we're on auto as usual, of course. This aerial is dying, evidently. I guess we just kill the aerial. Okay, aerial dead. Cool. Uh, let's get another heal off here. One, two, three, four. Come on, come on. Ooh. Let's get another one off, and let's go. Oh, no, no, no. Let's go Sabrina on this. Boom. Done, done. Oh, where was the defense? Got her. I'm going to switch to win. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, if you're building arena monsters, hmm. Um, wins are really nice. I've been testing them this whole stream, and all of them are pretty nice. Mine are not, like, crazy well built. They're not A15 or anything. They're only, like, A11 at most. And they're they're smacking the big boys. Mm. Yeah, I think it's good enough. There is only Martina, right? It's like I wish I had Martina right now. Um, 
we're not getting a ton of damage out from them, so I think we're just gonna. Yeah, the Melissa, the block harmful effect removal is just so strong. It's just so strong. Honestly, like the Martina Melissa combo has just been amazing. But Sabrina's doing good too, don't get me wrong. Um, let's go, let's go and ult on the aerial with the Sabrina. There we go. Boom. We'll have to wait for Agent to build all his uh, twins so he can show us how they're used in PvP. 